Raby's been telling us that um, she's had something on her mind that she wanted to ask us about. She asked us when the next round of questions for the fellas was going to be coming up. Mm -hmm. I said, well, Rave, <laughs> you say the word. Yeah. Yeah. Word. Say the word, girl. Yeah, because uh, word. <laughs> these are always yeah. interesting. Usually it's uh, it's Ravy and her girlfriends when they're hanging out. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. like some of the ladies here um, in the office, like they're talking about stuff. And Ravy's been keeping an ongoing list yeah. of uh, these different questions that, uh, that women have about dudes. Now, it's either why do you do this? Or like Ravy said today, it's more of like a, a deeper dive into the psyche. Mm-hmm. And so we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna find out what this this burning question that Ravy has is. I've been very Ooh, curious. Me too. Okay. But I, I wanted to I wanted to be in the moment. Yeah. I didn't want to have too much time mm -hmm. to think about. It. I just wanted to give like right. a like whatever your first answer is is usually the right answer. That's true. I didn't want you get the, didn't give anybody a preview. Yeah. Mysterious. All right. And it came up because of dumbass Tyler. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, All dumbass right. Tyler is dumbass Tyler. He's our yeah. board op here on the show. Yeah. Because he signed this ridiculous lease for a truck, very lengthy. Six years. And $600 yeah. a month. Yeah. Wow. For and, a pickup truck. And, and he's and way over the mile. And yeah. so my takeaway from that was, geez, didn't you have, didn't you talk to anybody about this before you did that? Mm -hmm. And then that, I kind of started connecting some dots because then I remembered, well, Woody, you got solar that one time. Greg got solar, but he didn't seem to bounce anything off you. And he, his solar company ended up with the dude pooping in his backyard. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I connected that dot to, we've mm -hmm. talked about this off air, that Seabass recently got this toilet. And he's like, I'm installing this myself. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it did not go well. Well, yeah. Initially, that's correct. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and small flood. All together, that is a correct. small flood. Well, again, the insurance. Right. Yeah. The insurance ended up yeah. paying for a yeah. new hardwood floor. Uh, you sure, had to get the sure. insurance yeah. involved. Exactly. That's, that's yeah. how well it went. I yeah. got yeah. to get the insurance involved. And so yeah. that yeah. got me thinking. You know, the old joke before there was, you know, ways guys wouldn't mm. stop and ask for directions. Yeah. And so, like, I connected all those dots, and so it's like, what is it? What? Why are you not at? Do you not ask for help? Is it not a manly thing to bounce things off people or ask for help? Because it, it seems like you'd never do. Like, Dude. I'm a man. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this. All right. So, uh, you know I, what I mean? Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? I'll give you another tip. Totally. I've, I've worked with an agent for a number of years. And I had a, uh, a friend of mine who, at the time, I was doing a show with. And I said, hey, because it was contract negotiation time. And I said, hey, man, you know, we're in a really good position. It, it might be a good idea to talk to my guy. He'd be more than happy to represent you. Mm -hmm. Working, you know, we're working together here. Mm -hmm. uh, and he will have your best interest in mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then not only <laughs> did he not go with my guy, he went with like some, some like, you know. Random? Yeah, some jabroni. Some yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't even know where he found this guy. Yeah. And then he ended up getting screwed. Oh. You know, and I'm like, dude, like just because I, if I hadn't suggested it, maybe he would have gone with it. But like, I think there, I think there's something with dudes like I'm my uh, own man. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go my own way. You're not gonna you know? tell me what to do. Yeah. Which I am in in some ways, but like all those things that you mentioned, I research everything. I ask mm -hmm. everybody for help. I've asked for everybody's. Mm -hmm. I, I want to collect as much information as possible. I certainly am not above asking a professional to come in and yeah install mm -hmm. something yeah. or yeah. or right. do something. I am not gonna drive around all goddamn day because I'm too proud to ask for directions or yeah. mm -hmm. or where like yeah. I, I just want to get totally. there. You know, so it's not really me. I think you should start with Greg and, and Seabass because of mm -hmm. the examples that you gave. Well, the directions thing, I've never believed in that myth. I've always asked for directions pre-Waze, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. pre-GPS, et cetera. When it comes to getting advice, uh, as far as the solar goes, I did ask Woody, and he went through Costco, and my Costco membership had expired, and I didn't want to rejoin Costco <laughs> just to get solar. <laughs> Even though I told him yeah. how much money you got back just by going yeah. through Costco. I know, and I thought, ah, Paperwork, details, yeah. joining. <laughs> eh. Yeah, so for yeah. a 15 minute sit there, fill out a I new know. application for the mm. uh, for the Costco membership and the 80 bucks or whatever it is. 60. Right. I yeah. got $1,600 of Whoa. Costco gift cards in return just for signing up for the mm -hmm. solar through Costco. And because I signed up for their <laughs> platinum membership or whatever it is, they're uh -huh. yeah. I forget what it's called. Executive. Yeah. Right. They give you a certain percentage of whatever you buy at Costco yeah. cash at the end of the year. Yeah. Right. And so I got another check for like $2,300 
for doing nothing yeah. other than yeah. just mm-hmm. getting what I was going to get anyway, but being a Costco member. So did anybody poop in your backyard? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I was already like a month or two into the process, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to change. That was just a stupid, lazy thing. When it comes to fixing stuff on my own, I don't know if it's a man thing or just a pride thing, because. You know, if I have a tree that needs to be trimmed, the only reason I'll call a Mm. professional is because I don't have a place to discard the branches. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm getting on the ladder with the chainsaw myself, doing it myself, because I can do this myself, and I don't need your help. You Mm -hmm. know, um, I and you're always Mm -hmm. raised, no matter what, all guys are like, you know, boys don't cry, kind of cliche. Yeah. Yeah. So you can kind of take care of yourself. Don't. So I think it's exactly what is in your head, I think, is why guys are that way. They don't ask for help. Because they can do it themselves. I think I'm the exact opposite. I want help. I need help. And medicine camera can sit this one out. I do. I do. Tell me, you know. But I think maybe also in dumbass Tyler's case, I, I you have this too though, Ravy. Mm-hmm. A lot of the stuff with guys is impulse. You know? Oh, yeah. It, True. You know, totally. We're dumb. We're True. not that smart. And I do have you know? problems with impulse like, control. I see it. Yeah. I want well, it. Yeah, just do it. Don't ask anybody. Just have it happen right there and then and mm. then people go why'd you do that i don't know and yeah well, but I, like I mean that, that part goes both ways though like yeah. if a guy comes home with a boat woman might also come home with a purse <laughs> right yeah. Like, yeah. Too expensive. yeah, yeah. And like, that's true. yeah. that was stupid why'd you do that but isn't know, there also a sense of pride to. like you can look at your toilet and go i did that or you can look at your yard i did that and i think my I, money did that yeah. <laughs> in my case you know yeah. I mean? like, oh, yeah. cool, that's cool and if i could go to, to a little bit of a scientific analysis of please this, do it has to do with why men are typically more tinkerers engineers scientists hands-on people and women maybe are more better at planning multitasking you know community-based talking mm-hmm. type stuff yeah you know women have more personal skills men have more technical skills just because of our you know scientific nature right. guys DNA. will go out you know, yep. our caveman ancestors mm-hmm. would go out there and, you know, poke a stick into a mole, you know, into a termite's nest and see what's in there. Mm-hmm. And so maybe that's why. There's like, also like if, the technical stuff. We do that more. Yeah. With technical kind of stuff. I'd rather watch something on YouTube and that tells me how to do it than have somebody explain it to me. I don't know why. I think I learn better that way. Mm-hmm. Um, like when it comes to a, like a video editing program and I need to learn how to do something instead of asking like the three editors that we have down the hall, mm-hmm. right. I will just go on YouTube and find out myself. And I don't know. I retain the information better that mm-hmm. way, I guess. I don't know. But still, like, your base instinct is I'm doing this yeah. myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the, then the, explain it. I'm zeroing in on the directions thing because I don't know where the hell that myth came from. It but I mean, it was I around it's a myth. for a long get, time. I think it's probably a, myth. a TV show or something. Yeah, I mean, it, old who doesn't ask for directions pre GPS? It was uh, a mash. My stepfather never really. Would. Yeah. I don't get that because he knew where he was going. Oh wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I should have made that turn. Okay, <laughs> then that he goes and he makes that turn. My dad goes was the same and, way. Oh, hold on, hold yeah. on. Get I know it. where I'm going. He's uh, like, this is my own shortcut. Uh, and then we oh, would yeah. be He's in the car an hour, yeah. and he an takes hour a, longer. And he takes a lot of pride. My stepfather has this like, you know, inflated sense of pride with like knowing that secret way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. we, well, like when I, whenever we go to visit, uh, my family and I go to visit uh, my mom and stepdad and we go to go see my sister who lives like 45 minutes away from my parents' house. Like he has done this drive a number of times. He knows this special way. I just go on ways and I beat him there every mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. But yeah. he yeah. like, a special way. He's yeah. like, which way did you take? I'm like the ways uh, way. Yeah, the ways way. The ways. <laughs> yeah. The computers in the sky that yeah. shoot down the information that are yeah. way smarter than I am. Yeah. He's like, oh well, uh, you should have gone. I'm like, I got here before you did. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems to be directly correlated with pride, and that independence yeah. seems to be just how you're raised in general. Yeah. Yeah. 